Camcorder Cameron here. Today I'm going to be watching Paul Thomas Anderson's Punch Drunk Love for the very first time. Now as a huge fan of Boogie Nights, it's honestly embarrassing that I've never even seen this movie before. Thank you Foxy Crow for recommending this movie and giving me an opportunity to watch it. I'm super excited. Let's get right into it. Well, do you realize that the monetary value of this promotion and the prize is potentially worth more than the purchases? What a beautiful office. <laughs> Damp and cold and echoey. Who wouldn't want to work in that space? Whoa. I was not expecting that. You have my home phone number, right? What's that for? If you wanted to call me. Hey, no, I'm so fine. I have your work number. Oh, he's trying to be close with somebody. Can I ask you, could I trust to leave my key with you and give it to you so that when they get here, you could give it to them? Girl, you're asking too much. But she can get away with it. She's pretty. There's a piano in the street. Yeah. This is filmed like a fever dream. What the heck? Hey, it's me. It's Rhonda. Are you going to this guy's party tonight? Oh, hi, Rhonda. Yes, I am. All right, fine. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. I'll see you well. tonight. <laughs> Non-breakable handle, finally. Um, let me demonstrate for you. <laughs> Do we have a, a new one around, Lance? Sorry about that. <laughs> that is so it's embarrassing. embarrassing. Uh, <laughs> That's what he said, too. Going to the party tonight? Yes, I am. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, I'm just... I feel like they have some scheme. All the sisters have gotten together to scheme something to happen for him at this party. There's this girl, this friend of mine from work, who I think is really cute and really cool, and I want you to meet her, so I was thinking about bringing her to the party tonight. This is the script they all wrote together. <laughs> I would be a little tense, and I don't think I'd act like myself. Well, that's kind of your fault. <laughs> Are you using that dandruff shampoo I bought you? Yes. Barry. Barry. What? Barry. She's like, I can't tell. This is very food, thank you. What's very food? What's that? You just said very food. <laughs> I can relate to him. <laughs> Come on, gay boy, it's time to eat. gonna be? <laughs> they are wicked. Can you help me? Hmm. Barry, I'm a dentist. I... <laughs> oh, help. help him. What exactly is wrong? Maybe he's been bullied his whole life by seven sisters. Sometimes I cry a lot for no reason. I love Barry. He's being so vulnerable right now. Hug him. <laughs> I went terribly. It's a random promotion. Tell me. Talk to me. Literally, this is how I feel every time I'm in a grocery store. I'm losing my mind. Do you want to know what I look like? Doesn't matter. What do you mean it doesn't matter? She's like the female version of the scream mask voice. Do you like peaches, Jack? They're okay. Well, you'll like them even better because I'm a Georgia peach. <laughs> that's just too cheesy, girl. Why is he calling her instead of a psychiatrist? Because that's clearly all he wants. How much is it? Like seven fifty. Yeah, no, no, I can't <laughs> afford that. I'm, yeah, I just don't have enough money to be able to do that. I'm sorry. Good for him. I have all your information. I have your credit card information. All of your billing Okay, no, stuff. thank you. Barry, you've gotten yourself in trouble. Put in some coupons that can be redeemed for frequent flyer miles. You should go on a trip. Yeah, no, thank you. So wh what do you want me to do with it? <laughs> a trip would be good for him. I can't help but root for Barry. Oh, he's having a terrible day. And I don't know why he's wearing that suit. He doesn't usually dress like that. It's fine. <laughs> What's wrong with the suit? We were in the neighborhood and she had to pick up her car and we're getting breakfast before we go in. So did you want to go? We're going to go eat. Let's go. Girl, say your lines a little better, please. What is that? Are you learning to play the piano? Lance! Yeah? Remember, we have to call that guy in Toledo. <laughs> Sound busy. Second. Let me just get this. What's that pudding, Barry? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll call the police. No, you won't. <laughs> did you ask Walter to get you a shrink? So what if he did? Screw Walter. Can we get pancakes? Yes, we are. Did you want to check? Sure. This is terrible. Are you guys hurt? Are you OK? Call me later and we can talk about asking Walter for the shrink. I can't handle this. I would be running out of there. 
$100, two days work, it's a lot more than your family's making sitting around your house. See what this little bad boy businessman is all about. He's awesome, I love that actor. Confusion say, <laughs> and then DJ just says confusion or Confucius. Cute, she has beautiful eyes. If you were to spend $3,000, that would get you a million freaking flyer miles. You would never have to pay for a ticket. Genius. Business genius. Dear sister, I'm telling me a pretty funny story about you. Threw a hammer straight through a sliding glass door. Threw a hammer? I don't remember doing that. It's a weird story to bring up. He seriously does need help, though. Can I talk to you, sir? Why? I uh, just need you for a second, please. Okay. You didn't just mash up the bathroom? No. This is a nightmare. The harmonium that it's ended up in your office. Did you steal that? Is it stealing if it was just dropped in the street? And bye bye. And bye bye, you stupid mother. Be nicer to yourself. I want you to know that I wanted to kiss you just then. Well, then why didn't you? Makes me suspicious. It was 216. No. Guys got moves. Ah! No! He's really got himself in a pickle now. This is why you guys don't do dirty things. Think you can be a pervert and not pay for it? This is what happens to you. Poor guy. At least he'll have his frequent flying miles. So I don't know if this is fair. Wait, whoa, this, wait, no, no, please. I'm scared. Ah. Whatever, they're amateurs. You're fine. He's lucky they didn't have a gun. We know where you live. They're not gonna hurt you. I got in trouble last night. I had a little bit what of trouble. Happened? I made a phone call. <sighs> I'm glad he's telling somebody. Whatever you're going through, you shouldn't have to go through it alone. Get more pudding for this trip to Hawaii. As I just said that out loud, I realized it sounded a little strange, but it's not. So would you like to come with me? Okay. He's a great business partner. He's down for anything. I love him. He's supportive. He respects that his friend's a little weird. With his luck, it won't convert into flying miles. No, 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 no. Barry. Pudding. Oh! Okay. Chip, we'll get to the pudding later. <laughs> Don't tell my sisters anything, okay? Don't ever tell his sisters anything. All I want is her number. Can you help me out? Tell me why. Do you like There's her? no reason for you to treat me this way. You like her? You're killing me. You're killing me with the way you are towards me. She is torturing him. Uh, you mean sister. So when's the last time you had a girlfriend? <laughs> Never. Cute. It's beautiful. I just hope she has the right intentions. I wanna scoop out your eyes and I wanna eat them. This is cute. He's found someone to match his freak. At the restaurant, I beat up the bathroom. I'm sorry. <laughs> Now's not the time. Anyway, honestly, he's such a freak sometimes. Yeah, he, he did seem a little strange. Well, he's not that strange. Only I can call him strange. This is the way of the sisters. I'm in the other room shaving my roommate right now, so I'm a bit distracted. <laughs> uh, the police can be contacted, and I, and I could do that. And I feel like it's it's warranted. So um, let's 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 figure something out. That was respectful. <laughs> oh God, man, you are in trouble now. Poor thing. Well, he has anger issues. He don't play around either. Let's see him beat the sh out of these guys. Oh, where'd he get that from? He's gonna kill them all. Man, he don't mess around. Okay, I see you. And then you call me, you ask me for money. Am I right? Am I right? Screwed over the wrong person, lady. Furniture of mattresses, all right. Yeah, it's a front. <laughs> It is always like the mattress stores, I'm telling you guys. Okay, sexy, I'm gonna connect you with my supervisor. <laughs> okay, sexy. What's your name, sir? Answer me! What's your name? Oh. I'm Barry Egan! You could be 
anybody. You're a bad head. person. You have no right taking people's confidence in your service. Like, that's what's really making him mad, is that he thought her conversation was confidential. Are you threatening me, dick? You go f*** yourself! It's a screaming match. Did you just say, go f*** myself? <laughs> she was discharged, okay. Rut row, Raggy. Wow, he found that quick. Are we gonna go, or are you all talk, Mr. Guy? I have a love in my life. It makes me stronger than anything you can imagine. <laughs> I would say that's that, Mattress Man. You tell him. Now get the f*** out of here, pervert! Didn't I warn you? Th that's that. What losers? I wanted to make sure you never got hurt again. And I have a lot of pudding. <laughs> Interesting. Very interesting. Super unique. What I love about Paul Thomas Anderson's love movies is that he really chooses like unconventional love. I've never seen Adam Sandler in a role like this. It's cool seeing him be more like awkward and like antisocial, usually because he's like so funny and has such a big personality. He plays big personalities, so it's cool to get to see him like this. His character was endearing, he was smart, he was brutal, protective of his woman. I was totally not knowing her, but in the beginning I wasn't really, I was suspicious of her. I didn't know if she wanted something from him the way that the phone line woman wanted something from him. I didn't know if he was like attracting all these bad people who wanted to take advantage of him. It made me really cautious of her, but then it ended up being like a sweet love story where she's just into like eccentric guys, I guess. You know what? I would have loved if I got to see more like scenes of her being weird in her own way. So I would just like to see some more quirk from her. Maybe she has like some special interest or something that's a little weird too. I don't know. I want to scoop out your eyes and I want to eat them. I would have loved to see that, but yeah, I really enjoyed this movie from the whole time I watched it. It was just entertaining. It had a great pacing. It was funny. I was giggling the whole time and it wasn't too serious. I love a movie that's not too serious. But yeah, I really loved this movie and thanks for recommending it, Boxy Chrome. I'd like to give a shout out to all my Patreons and my channel members. <laughs> you guys should come up for a name for yourselves because <laughs> saying that is a mouthful, but thank you so much for all your support and all you do for me in this channel. You keep this channel running. It's, you know, being made with your help. So thank you. I can't thank you enough. If you guys aren't already, please consider joining my Patreon or my channel member thing. Um, I post extra content there and you get videos early. Thank you, thank you. Until next time, Camcorder Cameron signing out.